Greetings everyone, I'm Kevin and we're back with the TVRC for January. Well, first of all, I just want to wish all of you a happy new year. So I hope that you are excited for 2023 and really after 2020 and 2021 and 2022, I feel like we can only be better this year. Then just going to go through a few things for how EFTBRC will work this year. It will work the same way that it did last year. I will do five rounds for five prompts for each month and then thus completing a column for three months. So January, February and March is one column. If I complete all of my TBR books each month, I will take a prompt, a book buying prompt and buy a book. This time I think also if I get a bonus, now I, I know that if I get a bonus, like the 50 bonus points, I get to take another one, but I think this time I might be kind to myself and let me buy more than one book per month. I don't know, but that's kind of like the plan with this. I'm going to continue doing it. And the main change when it comes to the book buying prompt thing um, is that previously last year, if I did January, February, March, if I completed my TBRs for January and February, I would have two book buying prompts but if I did not finish in March, then I would have to remove the books from my from my cart. This year, I won't do that. Instead of getting three books, I will then get two books, but I will not remove books for not completing the TBR one month. So that is the biggest change there. Other than that, it's the absolute same as it was last year. So we're going to just get on with it. So let's do the first roll. So first roll for January. Ooh. Okay, I'm keeping the force this time. Ooh, okay, okay, good choice, good choice. So that should be 16. And that is a yellow card. So the first prompt for January is a play. So the first prompt was a play. And my instinct goes with Shakespeare, which I don't think is that surprising to a lot of people. But I am not going to do Shakespeare this time. Instead, I found a play called The Normal Heart. And this is an older play. It's kind of like a modern classic. But what made me want to read this one is that it's a, also a queer classic play. It's set in the early stage of the AIDS epidemic. So it's in like the 70s, 80s, somewhere around then. And I find that really interesting to read. And I think it's going to be very kind of like a difficult read as well. But that's the first book that I'm going to read for January. It's so now the second round. And then the second roll. Okay, so two freeze and two twos. I'm keeping the freeze. Another free, and then last roll. Another free. Ooh, so another four of a kind. I'm not saying no to that. That is 12 up here because of course I'm not putting it here. So that is another yellow card. Continue a series. Ooh, that's nice. And now we got continue a series, which is very nice. But now I have to decide on the series to continue. Okay, so I have kind of four options. It depends if I can count this first one. One option is this. All systems read. I have read this book. I've only read this book in the series, but if I would continue the series, I want to reread the first book, which is this one. It's very short, which is why I want to do it. But that's kind of like, does it uh, count continuing a series by reading the first book in the series? That is technically not continuing the series. You know what I mean? I love loopholes, which if you've watched any of my other videos, you probably know that I do 
quite enjoy loopholes. But this is one contender. And then the second one is should probably be just like the first one because it's uh, Percy Jackson and the Sea of Monsters. It's been years since I read the first book, which means that in order to continue the series, I would probably need to reread the first book. So, okay, so, so far, I just realized that is how it's gonna be for all of these. In order for me to read the next book in the series, I have to reread the first one. Okay, so then it wasn't a stretch for the first option that I brought up. But then we have also The Life Below. So this is the second book in the duology. So it's the last book in the duology. It's been several years since I read the first book, so I would have to reread that book as well. As we said, that is going to be the case for all of these. I have to reread the first book in order to continue the series. So I would probably need to reread the first book in the series, which is called The Final Six. I really love that book. So I would have to reread that one in order to get to this. I had this in 2020 in my mid-year um, freakout video, that tag. I said that if there was one book I wanted to complete before the end of the year it was this one. And now, two years later, or one and a half years later, I still haven't picked it up. So I really should. And the last book, the last option I have is Perfect World, which is a manga. And I think I'm going to go with this one because this one, I can actually read this one without having to reread the first two because it's a manga, it's, you know, you follow these characters, it's kind of slice of life situations. You don't really need to read the first. I mean, you need to have read it, but you don't have to read them in a short amount of time between them. It's been almost a year since I read the second book. This is the third book, but I don't feel like I would need to read the first or the second one in, or in order to understand what is happening in this one. While the other ones, I would have to reread the first book in order to understand what was going on. So I'm going to go with this one. Third round. I'm gonna attempt a small strike. And I did it. I did it. That is 15 here. That should be 15 here. And since, since that is highest possible, that would be a red card. And now we ended up with a red card and I always love getting red cards. And I do really enjoy getting these red cards, which is randomized. So I am now going to go onto my phone and we're going to do 101 to 150 generate. That is 142. I don't have that many books on my shelves here on my TBR shelves. So I'm going to go on to Goodreads and see what is number 142 on Goodreads. And number 142 on Goodreads is We Are Not Free. And this, I'm really excited to read this. We follow this group of kind of teenagers, I think, like young adults. And they live in the time of World War II and they're all Japanese Americans, which means that they are in this internment camp in the US. I think it's said in the US or it's it, maybe it's Canada. I know it was in both the US and Canada. They had these internment camps. So if you are in a Japanese American, you were taken to what was at the time called concentration camps, but are today referred to back as internment camps. So they were brought to these camps and had to live there because they needed to be under supervision because as they were Japanese, they were considered the enemy. So I really wanted to read this because I, I want to learn as many different perspectives as I possibly can and kind of intrigues me. And I do know that with internment camps in the US and maybe Canada, I don't know. They also had these internment camps for German Americans as well as Italian Americans, which I don't think is talked about as much. We did have internment camps in Sweden, which no one talks about. I don't think not a lot of people are even aware that they exist. And my grandma knows that they exist because I 
talk to her about it. I don't think any of my students are aware that they existed in Sweden, but I am really looking forward to reading this book. Then we have the fourth, Rolling 44th Pump. Oh my god. Okay, uh, I'm keeping the six. And I got, oh, okay, I got three threes. I already had freeze, and I'm not going to attempt a Yahtzee on free freeze. And last one. And another six. So we have, I'm going to put that as free of a kind. So that is 18 going there, and that is a red card. Number eight. And another red card, and this time we get number eight. And this time it's the Poet X. And The Poet X is a book that I have heard nothing but great things about. And especially the audiobook, which I am going to read it as an audiobook because I don't own it physically. So I'm going to listen to it. Rolling for the last prompt. Uh, I've had, I haven't had twos. I have had threes and fours. So I'm going to do twos. Mm. I am um, switching to fives and then last roll. Okay, so three fives. I could take that as... I'm taking that as a one pair instead because I feel like I can get a lot more than 15 here and I can only get two more for a pair. So the last prompt for January is black cover and the last prompt that i got was for a book with a black cover and after looking at my shelves i decided that the book that i wanted to go with is this book it's called off this country and it's by all of these nigerian authors so this is basically a short story collection from a lot of acclaimed Nigerian offers and it is very short even though it has a lot of offers so the short stories are very like very short stories but I am really looking forward to reading this and I feel like as you probably know watching this video uh, or my channel in general I really love cultures and traveling for books, which is why I created Globetrotter Fun and now the Globetrotter Reading Challenge. I just really love reading books from all over the world. And so when I found out that this existed, I just, I wanted to have my hands on it, so I got it. And it is a mainly black cover, as you can see. It's only has some color, but it's, I would say that it's majority black. So I'm going to count this as a black cover. And I'm really excited to read and learn more about Nigeria from all of them. <laughs> okay, so that was my January TBR. For the prompt play, I got The Normal Heart, Continuous Series, Reading Perfect, uh, Perfect World, Volume 3. And then Randomize, I got We Are Not Free. For number 8, I got The Poet X. And then for Black Cover, I got Of This Country. Meaning that physically, I have these two books and then these three as ebooks or as audiobooks. But those are my five books that I'm reading for January. I hope you enjoyed this video and please like it and comment down below if you want to and let me know about your reading plans. Do you have any? Then I will see you next time. Good reading. Bye.